Hello and welcome to Pet Tales. I recently learned a lesson. Big families are super fun. You always have someone to bug, you always have someone to play and fight with, you always have someone to watch out for you. Now how did I learn this? I just visited a family of 5 humans, 16 cats and 5 dogs. That's right, 5 humans, 16 cats and 5 dogs. All the pets in the D'Souza household have either been rescued off the street or have invited themselves to live here. Maybe it's the bowl of water that Anu puts out by the gate for the animals of the street or maybe it's just that troubled animals can sense safety here. Whatever it is, it's almost like there's a spell of some kind that draws distressed animals to this house. And so the family grew to its current strength of 5 humans, 16 cats and 5 dogs. Now how much ever I'd like for us to meet all of them, it's not going to be so easy. Some of these guys are immensely shy, so let me introduce you to the more curious and bolder family members. Right up at the entrance, it's Dizzy Dog that greets you. She's the oldest dog in the group and is recovering from a bit of skin trouble, but that doesn't stop her from being friendly and loving. She wouldn't stop giving me her paw. She loves to roll around on the lawn under the warm sun or doors in the front veranda, keeping one eye on the goings-on around the house. Some sun and some sleep, what more could a girl want? <sighs> Once inside, you're most likely going to bump into dear old Alf first. He's an old cat who, when he first came in, was suffering from severe injuries on his head. Though he's recovered and well now, poor Alf is the grumpiest of the lot. He just lounges about on the couch in the living room and will eat only on the dining table and always tries to boss over the rest of the family. I might not have any teeth, but you better watch out for my claws. Take that, human! And that! Take that! <laughs> Occasionally, the kitten and Alf resurfaces and we got to see a glimpse of it thanks to our camera equipment. Sheba. Gentle Sheba. She was one of the cats that were born in Anu's cupboard. Sheba is sweet and loving and is happy as long as she has her kitty meal and a nice head massage. Oh, I could do this all day. Then there's Jojo. He came in as a puppy with a broken leg. You look at him and you immediately think, barking dogs seldom bite. He might growl and bark when he first sees you, but just take one baby step forward and he'll wedge himself behind the couch. Poor doggy is scared stiff of most things, us included. Ah well, at least he tries. I'll show you to come into my house. <laughs> strangers walking in and out with even more stranger objects. I'll show you to come into my house. Oh, spare me, spare me, have mercy, no, please, please. Then there's Soya, the recent addition. She's a Spitz who was rescued off the street and brought home. Soya Bean is recovering from her dental problem and spends most of the day sleeping. You don't even realize that she's around in the house. Uh, she doesn't care about much. Are the other dogs playing again? Oh, is it time to go for a walk? Wait, is she giving me more food? Ah, who cares? <laughs> To meet the oldest cat in the house, you'll have to step into Anu's son, Tarun's room, and there you'll find Mingo Lee. Now Mingo might not want to cuddle too much and has a mind of his own. But there's one way to make him do what you want. Whip out a brush and start brushing his soft white coat. Tarun even told us that Mingo loves to be treated to aftershave. Ah, oh, that's the right spot. Way to go, human. Hundred strokes, hundred strokes. The other cat in the room is Babyface. One look at her pretty face and you know the name's perfect for her. She loves to cuddle and loves a fuss as long as it's all about her. She's a vain cat, yes, but hey, if you were Babyface, wouldn't you be? <laughs> Little Miss Attitude. Don't you wish your tail was as fluffy as mine? Don't you wish your whiskers were long and fine? Don't ya? Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't ya? 
wish all you want, but you'll never be as pretty as me. Never! The dog busy outside. She was making a racket near the gate. And I was too busy waking up. So mom ran out to see what was happening. And when she opened the gate, uh, Dizzy ran out and these three little balls of fur just came running in. And at that point in time, they used to play um, Patrick Swayze's movie on TV a lot, uh, The Ghost. So mom saw this Swayze's um, blue eyes and she was very taken up by them. So she said, okay, you're going to be Swayze. And she told Babyface that you can be Demi. And the other one was Mimi. I don't know where that name came from. But yeah, they were originally christened Swayze, Demi and Mimi. And now they have names such as Thinky and Babyface. With so many critters running around the house, I'm sure it's tough to pick a favourite. But Anu has her favourite cat. He's big and black and white and his name is Tanto. He's in fact Sheba's brother but spends most of his time upstairs chilling in Anu's room. For some strange reason, I thought he looked very British. Maybe it was the look on his face, or maybe there's a British man trapped in his body. Anything's possible. Care for some tea, darlings? So, why the name Tanto and was he a rescue as well? Actually, his grandmother was a rescue. He was born in my cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Tanto, actually, at the time, there was this uh, serial that was on TV which the kids used to watch called El Nombre mm -hmm. and there was a little spider in that which oh, was like you right. know black and white and okay. <laughs> so the name stuck of course I had my favorite too and I saved the best for last and now to meet the star of the household say hello to Noah the youngest dog in the house he was found as a puppy in one of the bushes in the garden and has lived here ever since. He is one happy dog and is always up for anything. His favourite thing to chase is Ginger, the cat that visits ever so often. I'm sure Ginger doesn't approve too much. He loves to run and play in the garden and goes nuts if you bring out his fetch. Oh, he'll never stop after that. He has such a wise grip on that thing. You can just walk him around with it. He bounces around the house, is excited by the smallest things and well, if you ignore him, he immediately reminds you of his presence with the strangest bark ever. Okay, I will ignore you. I'm happy, I'm jumpy, I'll forever be a puppy. We are family. I got all my critters in me, yeah. We are family. I guess it's true, so true in this family's case, right? <laughs> I guess it could get a little overwhelming and some of these guys will probably have to fight for that extra bit of attention but I really think each of them are so good at it. I mean look at Noah, he won't stop thrusting his fetch in my face until I pay attention and play around with him. Besides, you know what, I'm sure that neither the humans nor the animals would have it any other way. When these guys are around, they have each other and they're sure that they'll never ever be alone. <laughs> Hey! Enter the K9 classroom in just a bit. Stay.